Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is uh, Kate, or go by Always More Gaming here on YouTube, and today we are starting a new game. We are playing Life is Strange. This is season one. Life is Strange came out back in 2015, and they have released um, Before the Storm, which I believe is like a prequel to this game, uh, season two, and they are currently working on a new game for the Life is Strange like franchise called True Colors, which comes out in September. Uh, which is why I wanted to start playing these games. They're, they're on my list of things to play. But with a new game coming out, I wanted to play what they already had before the new game came out. So that's what we're going to do. Now, each of these parts is going to be full episodes. And I'm pretty sure the episodes all range from anywhere from one to two hours long. So um, hang in there with me. Uh, if I talk for too long, um, I start to lose my voice and yeah i don't know the story to this game i don't know much about this game uh let's see i want to can i turn on subtitles subtitles are on okay okay i just wanted to make sure so uh, there's something I was gonna say. Now I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. I don't know anything about this game. Uh, when it first came out, Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Consequences of all in your game actions and decisions will impact the past. Oh, it's a butter- oh, we got butterfly choices? Butterfly effect? Ooh. Ah! Girl, you're gonna get a cold if you're laying out in the rain with this. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? There's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay. So do we have like some supernatural abilities or something? I don't know. I'm getting kind of like a uh, Beyond Two Souls vibes. When this game first came out, I remember I watched somebody play like the first, like, oh, there's a tornado. Yikes. I watched like the first like maybe 20 minutes of the first episode. I don't remember anything from it though. I will look at any of this stuff. I probably shouldn't with the tornado right there, but no, I can't look at anything. Um, but I don't really remember what I watched. I remember like I didn't finish it for some reason. Don't stand so close to the edge. Holy shit. Yeah. And she just stood there. Oh, okay. that was so surreal. Famously called the film "Little Pieces of Time," but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. She fell asleep during cool. class. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Okay. Weird. Diane Arbus. Uh -uh. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay, so are we kind of like the odd one out? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. 
and capture you in a moment of desperation. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. You could do that to me. Okay, is it like a isn't that too easy? Therapist prescribed too journal, obvious? or is that just something she likes to do? What if I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. <laughs> she could have taken another approach. It's in our my camera bag is battered, but still kicking. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war Vietnam. Okay, that's Victoria person. I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio, and I have to get my daily selfie quota. What? Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. Aim camera with R. Impressed with what? We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac. I don't have R. And if you haven't, R is not a button. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century. Oh, like using the actual camera? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. In the middle of class. Photographs. Like Cocteau, I would never. He was a true Renaissance man. No, it's going to be famous. quick. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for I knew that was going to be a tradition. stupid and mistake. Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early I wanted to look in the journal though. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's I'm not been as around. into photography. Like, I love art, but I've just never now, been Max, able to get into photography. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, no. Um, I did I know. I did know. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here? It's going to be Victoria. Victoria. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a short I can't. I style already don't like her. Now you're totally stuck in the micro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out. I don't want to like keep faces, bringing. Making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Like, the first I don't American want to draw more attention to ourselves. Portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. If anybody else looked oh, okay. at this, just... what would they think? October 1st, October, my favorite month, best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't, can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray ba Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my group, my geek cred before I could... Bleh, I can't read today. Before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. My Chloe is under the bed. <laughs> my Corgo. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social ming mingling. Is that... It's that? Or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party? Or... Is that backstroke fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you'll have all the time in the world. July. Oh. Is this still 2013? Because the one at the top is dated. Hmm. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse beat up. I thought I was gonna say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that mo last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in the caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. Uh, August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closet. Closest to home. <laughs> closet. Closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would 
play pirates in our rooms and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway land of treasure and adventure that I, we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, as au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh, insert hearts and flowers, plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a group with my classmates, or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Um, shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and dad are getting a little excited to, I'm a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. But I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me cry, want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to a thrift I swear I'm normally a pretty good reader <laughs> I'm then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my junior year not that I even have an old max wardrobe nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now so I can cut my hair get a tat maybe some piercings maybe a date maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome I can do anything unless I get busted and there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is what I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Uh, my first entry for my new dorm room in the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I play on a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new ni my new life. Sweet dreams. <laughs> okay, next day. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa, and how could I for forget Victoria Chase? Ah, uh, that's the really annoying girl that keeps talking in class. Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. So, like, do we have a crush on Mr. Jefferson? <laughs> Can't tell. Okay, so second day of class. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action around. I'll click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks, and expresses us too as well. I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Yep, so we have a crush on him. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday, during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. Sorry. Um, but I'm I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the super, the silly elite vortex club, and that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. 
I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She went, she's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who thinks beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue sky. I almost, I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Hero fo bleh, Photos. Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science classes, of all things. I, I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place. Mr. Grant is much cooler than the class. Miss Grant, sorry. <laughs> Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of her class. Sorry. Uh, some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if that means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? Uh, last page. Okay. October, my favorite month. Oh, we already read this one. Oh! I... Okay. Uh, so this is Kate. I've forgotten I have ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they are act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an ad adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Um, and then there's Victoria Chase, the elite Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so... I'm not saying that word mean. <laughs> I draw a line at the F word. 18 years old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality reality show contestants. Victoria does everything with, for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she is in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is obvious, so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She has everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha. Huh. Okay, so this is us. Uh, my name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, private school for 12th graders, 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship, even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. Oof. Yikes, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise and mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Okay, Mr. Jefferson is one of the best photographers in the world. He's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious, and he has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing for us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job at avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get na national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. So that's everybody. Okay, we only have 
we're on episode one. She's called Chrysalis. One location. Um, this is our dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, we got money. Oh. Hey, Max. Are you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Uh, absolutely. I'll be free after four. TTYL. What is today's date? Like October 1st, isn't it? Happy birthday, Maxine. Can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please, make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. <laughs> okay, so... Seems like we're ignoring- wait, so what is- is- Where'd the notes- where'd the notebook go? It's I don't know. You can find I think it's out October all about 1st. In your textbook. Or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> She's cute. And she totally has like my style. I totally wear just t-shirts. I have a ja green jacket that I wear every day, kissing ass. and jeans. I, can't, I don't know what our shoes are. Look kind of like Converse. Yep. She's got my style. Even Who's her notebook? school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. I'm what not using her of tablet. Course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I don't want her. <gasps> Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today thing I don't want to be on Victoria's bad side hi Kate oh hi Max oh my gosh she does look awful you seem quiet today you seem quiet today just thinking too much want to go grab tea I hear that want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life thanks but not today I have to go over homework no worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I feel like this is- you need to be there for her. Like, this is one of the things, okay. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Well, that is really cool. Well, if they have to pay, like, Photoshop for everything. Now like, I all the Adobe stuff. I wish I have read this. Purge. Oh no. Yeah, I know what it says. That is so gross. Hmm, this might make a cool shot. Rachel Amber Forever. I don't know if I want to. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're stuck. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're good. Rachel Amber forever. Okay. I don't know if I want to like try and like butt in. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world Victoria only the way so you worn. envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. I'm That's trying to be what so encouraging. The artist from the amateur. Okay. Uh, well, look at Victoria. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. 
My nails are the same color as Victoria's right now. No, I'm getting them repainted tomorrow, so don't worry about it. I will change it. I'm thinking green. <laughs> I don't know, though. I kind of want, like, a light green, but you I don't know. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. Then I might send you a special picture what is this? High school, I guess. I guess. Honestly, I tended to walk around. I walk around school between classes with like my earbuds in. Don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. What are you doing, girlfriend? Why are you leaning against the wall like this? She's so fucking shy. Here we go, I guess. Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Okay, what about Alyssa? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls, it's sad to is this my locker? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Let's check the dog. Totally fabulous, as usual. Oh, you just open the door for no reason. Hoping I don't get copyright strike for this music. That's Dana. Hold on, I want to turn the music down. Yeah. Talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Are we bullying over here? I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. How do I look at Daniel? It won't let me look at Daniel. Okay. Missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Amber. Ew. Wait, we took a picture. Where are my pictures? There it is. Rachel Amber. Love for- I thought it was two names, like Rachel and Amber. Okay. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> okay. I've already looked at all this. Don't need a PC, missed the poetry jam tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> I really like her. I'm getting, I, I, I enjoy her. Um, her humor. Can I go in? Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Wow, some principal. Wait, is this the same girl? I'm sorry if this is kind of Ms. like all over the place. I'm trying teacher. to work with the controls. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Am I supposed to leave? Uh, no. I still want to look around. There's the lighthouse again. Yay, Halloween. My favorite time of year. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. <laughs> Go team. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too <laughs> bad they don't like me. 
He was a skater boy, she said, see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough There's Hayden, for her. another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. To all of you. Okay, it sounds like the song started over. She wants to go to the bathroom to wash her face, but I want to keep looking There's at There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about I like him. that you're a weirdo. Okay. God, Samuel no, is I just, such a I know. weirdo. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. <laughs> Smell like an otter. Okay, I don't think I can go this way. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. I'm sorry about the camera angles. Trophies. I'm trying. <laughs> Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. Okay, I will go to the bathroom. She said she wanted to wash her face. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. That's what you think. Watch, like, Victoria's gonna come in here or something. I already don't like her at all. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? It always happens that somebody walks in when they do that. Guess not. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. <gasps> I don't tear it apart. A butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. I hate Victoria Chase was written okay, on the wall. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. You need the butterfly picture? Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. It's very pretty. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels I was kind of like expecting the butterfly like not to be in the picture. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just uh, you're in the girls' bathroom, sir. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. He's gonna turn and see us. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo! Poor little rich kid. I know I you've didn't... been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Uh oh. We done it. What? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? What just happened? In the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a photo? No. I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Bro, okay, camera. If I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? 
Why Arvis? <gasps> because of her images. Yo, of I can't. Okay, so let's go back all the way. Let's see how far we can reverse. Fix the camera. I did it. Now, I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. Life. Anybody? Max, don't Not freak yet. out. Not yet. Victoria? Why Arvis? Because of Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by Still the same stupid pic when I took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. Portrait, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame it. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. This is weird. A what? I don't... For a wonderful photographic tradition. What's going on? And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So now we know the answer to the question, though. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth? I'm just wondering if she can portraits. give her own answer. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Ah. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need I'm time really to hoping she would have the answer. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? People's faces, making okay. them well, Max, Why did you just get all like since you've captured right around our interest the and clearly want to join the conversation? Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Okay, I feel kind nice of work, cheap Max. for actually doing that, but still. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella like and features? Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Can she run? Oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. We're gonna go look. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Ah. Oh. Let me leave. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. We're gonna skip it. I'm not avoiding. Not, I'm not sure if I have uh, one. Yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. True. Go on now. Wise. Don't let me stop you. You already stopped me, though. It's time to be Whoa. an everyday hero. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. I don't know what I'm supposed Excuse to be no, Victoria, talking to him about. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. And this feels kind of cheaty. Sure I don't know. I like today. doing that. Like, getting yeah, the answer, then rewinding and giving him what he had said. Okay. So we I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. 
Please, please. Okay, I so can't I, tell I can run. This is Don't the button crazy. I was looking for a moment ago when I accidentally started rewinding. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Okay. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the butterfly. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Richard, get back. What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I need oh. a hammer to break it open. I don't want to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. I don't want to I mean, I know it like Mr. my punk schools. Get that gun away from me, psycho. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. I just know like my schools. If anybody ever pressed or like did the alarm thing, another shitty day. That they would immediately look for whoever did it. That did not happen. I just don't want her this getting in trouble. Be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Come on, you need to go. Hey, Everybody else is out. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I'm working I on it. Had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Go. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? No. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hmm. Now we're... Now we're suspicious. <laughs> Oh, I was probably going to talk to him. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Hmm. Is you look a little stressed out. Oh, I didn't realize Are she was going to okay? keep talking. I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. We're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? No, well, I just Max, saw like somebody holding a gun to a girl in the bathroom. Oh no. Do I only have so much time to like do like choose something? We're gonna report Nathan. I feel I like I'm gonna Nathan regret this. Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. I hope I don't regret Mr. this. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished Of course, family. now you're gonna... And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I wish to stay I'll anonymous. I think that Thank should. You for bringing it to my attention. I think that Can should be asked. After what requested. I told you. We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course, this academic okay, drone. Yep, my icon. This. Yep. Owns Blackwell now. You can rewind to change the outcome. Change my story? You won't be able to do your choices after leaving here. I wonder what would happen if I. I kind of want to stick with it, but I also feel like this could. No, you know, we're going to stick with it. I'm going to regret it, but we're going <laughs> to stick with it. That's what. It just feels right to me. I feel like she wouldn't be a very good liar. Very telltale vibe. I'm trying to remember what other games Square Enix has made. With Nathan Prescott, please come mm. to the front office. Thank you. 
Rachel Amber. She yeah. looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> Okay, I guess I can't actually talk to anybody. Oh. Hello. Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. Hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's the dorm? Do I have- Oh, I have new journals. Okay, um... This will be the weirdest journal entry I'll ever make. So weird I don't know how or where to start, but it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed towards, uh, heading for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face, and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class, and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest, while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool, and he clearly wants me to succeed. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get the ba to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare, or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in, and right when I took a photo of it, in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to myself. I hid in the corner, and this punk girl came in, and they started arguing about drugs and money. But Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came ar gun, not gum. I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly, I could feel the world twisting around me, and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind, and I found myself right back at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it, died, it did before. Major groundhog deja vu. Somehow, I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save the girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came in into the bathroom, and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory! Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal stepped in, Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. I didn't want to. He didn't want to believe me, and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fuck. <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> I wasn't even, like, again, yeah, okay, again, try not to say the F word. Blackwell's uh, biggest deal student who would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream that ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Okay, Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary prick. I guess I have little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places, as his family last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over-medicated. On the other hand, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. And he almost killed, slash did kill, a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Um... Well, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here, and that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. 
So of course he would end up at a Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to taste somebody. He would make a good photo portrait or of authority though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. Shudder. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. And then Principal. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me all the time. He knew I was that much trouble. He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I started like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship. I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a bit stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and Aunt's drama. I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath. That could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office. He was so nice, and he made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lo lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Okay, hold on. Actually, isn't there a map of the school somewhere in here? There is, but I don't know which one of them is the dorm room. Okay. I'm not really interested in looking at any more posters. Swimming pool. Okay, that is not the dorm. Again, I do apologize for the camera. The the a, the like controls for the camera is kind of wonky. Excuse me. Oh. Dormitories are over here. There was a sign. <laughs> this is so weird. These visions, this power. I feel like I keep cutting her off, which I don't mean to, but. Come on, Logan, turn your truck. Bruh. Yeah. Bruh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Okay. Oh, but I don't know if I'll be able to get in, because look who's sitting on the front doorstep. Can I get in? Excuse me? Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. I just went in the dorm building. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Does that Since mean you I know can't come all in? The answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. We ain't moving. Oh, wow. Pull that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay. Well, let's figure out what we're supposed to do here. Is there anything in here I can use? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I don't want her to see me coming out of here. I mean, I still can't come in, though. Nope. Okay. Well, at least I got them to stand up. Can I take a picture? Oh, no, no, no! No, no! Stop, 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 stop! How do I- No, 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 no! no stop. How do I stop it? For real? I have to do it uh. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clients- I already did this. I didn't mean- I didn't mean to- Rewind. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to yes, use. Yes, I know it's easy enough to use. We're gonna skip this. We've already done it. <gasps> oh, can I 
knock that over somehow? <laughs> oh, I know. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. I can't see anything when I'm not looking at it. Can I rewind, like, before you... Yeah, I know I can go faster, but I'm watching the bucket. next to Victoria. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Hurry. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. He is kind of an oddball, but I'll even be. <laughs> Crank that up. No. Oh no! <laughs> no way! No fucking you okay, way! Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Samuel, Wait, sorry. Is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Can I get in now? I mean, I know she's still sitting there on the step, but can I please go in? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I just want in. Kill him with kindness. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Can I get in, please? Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard oh, Abaddon no. is. Ellie's awake. No. He's one no, of no, my heroes. No. No. Thanks, Max. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why she got all wound up. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Can I go in, please? You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and yeah. and the go fuck your selfie. Thank you. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Can you let Our me bye. in, please? Thank you. He kill him with kindness, guys. Kill him with We turned in her Victoria buddy, probably but... played me. No, I'm not going to play her because I don't want her on my back. Red rum. Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. No, we're not pulling another fire alarm. No thanks. We'll bang for Jesus. Is this Kate's room? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Draw something cute. Peace. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't really what I was looking for, but okay. 
be the change you wish to see. Oh, that's nice. And I can't go in. I don't know where my which room is mine. Hi. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Watch, he probably has like a crush on us or something. I don't know which room is mine. Stomp them um, Bigfoots, okay? No. Taylor's asleep, what? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Juliet, extreme reporter. I just want to know which room is mine. At least that's an alarm from this century. True, though. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Oh, it says Max's room. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I like the guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Okay, so... Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. I like Dolly. She could truly freeze time. I actually just had to do a couple weeks ago. I had to do a um <coughs> a project for Dolly. Your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. This is is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Um Okay, I done goofed. I shouldn't have said that. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. Um uh, okay, everything feels so surreal tonight. Now I can't talk to anybody about this while well, dealing person I could. I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science, so maybe he could think of an explanation, though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. Oops. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, a kind of Amazon women, black and white badassery. Tetisul, I think. A total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. On a side note, I saw mis missing persons posters on a campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I, w I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in, and they even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go F your selfie, though. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything, and she wants me. She wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe, but it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps, covered in paint. So she didn't look like the queen biatch of Blackwell. She just a lonely girl, as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. <sighs> Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Well, now Great. I have to go find Dana. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. Max, thanks for your it's email nice and copy like of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult classic, and effed up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how the camera works? Okay. So now I have to go find Dana. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. <laughs> Drink up. Window? Why will that have consequences? I, I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. I Water to plant. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Look. 
I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. There's something else that let me look at. There you go. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Can you play? I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Play me something! Yes, girlfriend. Pretty. Okay. So we looked at the guitar, looked at the computer. I, I, I don't know what else there really is. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. Which room is Dana's? But I need in. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting <gasps> with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's Sorry. why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, I'm Juliet sorry. Watson. Rewind! Hey, Juliet. Yes, Max. I've locked it. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. Oh, the full name. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Hmm. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, swear I didn't do anything, but I said Victoria did. I know Victoria's in her room. I really don't want to snoop in Victoria's room. I don't want to do this. This is not a good idea. I don't like this. She's gonna find us. She's gonna find us. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't want to look into any of her stuff. I just want those tickets. Missing person poster. I literally just want I literally just want her. I get, would it be on her tablet or the camera? She's actually got a classic medium format camera with... No, officer, I'm not snooping. Mm. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? I'm trying Maybe to be I as will join her quick as possible. Oh. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. So sad to now inform you to that I totally pumped Juliet and Dana just now. Of here. Have to what? Print it? <laughs> I'm so on edge. I hate doing this kind of stuff. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Leave. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Busted. Busted. Not nah, busted. Ayo. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. 
still love me? And you do my laundry. And you do my laundry. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. I didn't even <laughs> read it because I just wanted to get Warren's out. Last drive is on my desk. She's pretty. There are a lot of her pretty people in here. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh no. Who oh, no. knew? Just take the flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Mm. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I think he has when a- When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Oh, so he lacks this. I don't want to take the pregnancy test, but I really want to ask her about it. Cheerleader outfit. Is there anything else I can do? Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to be like Snoopy Snoopy, but like. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. So I won't. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't like crazy drama um i don't mind waiting out here for forever i love this parking lot i can count the cars the more i text the longer i take on my way okay nope keep holding that button not meaning to oh victoria's gone fuck this shit ow that hurt damn I better rewind. Why? So we can get hit with the football? Why does it get like that around the edges? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Oh! Now that's what I'm talking about. I, I shouldn't even notice. Somebody. This action will have consequences. Max, that was awesome. Oh, she did notice. Thank you. I like your hair. That was close. Jock asshole. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's keep going. I think I have about like 45 minutes left of this part. I don't know. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo. I feel like this might draw attention to us, though. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure I'm out what side you're the flash. On. Leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Well, I felt like... Can I rewind? Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Like, I felt like taking the picture would get me, like, evidence. I'll intervene, you know what? Sure. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I'd rather stick up for Kate than like, oh, <laughs> save Max, myself. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. 
Yeah, I'd rather keep Kate safe than myself. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, do not be doing that stuff to me. Do not be like, should I go back and change my, like, choice? Do not be double, like, do not be doubting me. Making me want to double check myself. Don't do that. I'm here. I finally arrived. Mr. Impatient. She's ta she's really slow going down those stairs. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Captain Victoria do that to me? <gasps> oh no. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or, or anyway. anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. Uh, he okay. usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. She sounds really familiar. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I can't tell what the second line says. Okay, Warren. Max, I'm here. Oh. Get your ass over here. I'm here. What? And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. <gasps> Thanks. No problem. Yeah, he's crushing on us so hard. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburg just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little missensitive today. Excuse you? I wouldn't you? push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The movie booty? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there. From Akira. Akira. Song, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is <laughs> twisted enough. It sounds I laugh awful. my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um... How, uh, how so? How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. He wants to flirt. I don't want him to talk to her. I don't want to drag him it. into it. This is kind of a But he's like so I, mean, I wanna date. I literally we should be together. Crazy. Let's go do things. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. I'm sure. Oh, Mills, Warren, this is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly really bizarre sweet, though. experience in Mr. Jefferson's Bit class awkward. today. I mean, doesn't really get the life hint, changing. Sweet. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, who's this? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies. What? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. So he didn't keep us anonymous. Answer what me, about? bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. 
Step Take a back. step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna get hurt. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to mm. do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Thank in the bathroom. <gasps> ah! Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. <laughs> hey, Max. No! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Oh. <laughs> Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after Sorry, I don't mean to be quiet, but I'm just kind of enjoying so the game. How do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Yeah, I kind of figured she'd be bitter. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on me when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Oof. Okay. Just drop me off then. Is she gonna take her picture? She is she's totally gonna take her picture. <gasps> Broken. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I can't tell, like, how much Chloe actually likes us. She doesn't seem to be our biggest fan. Ooh. I'm not feeling the look of this place. <laughs> In. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Hmm. Okay. Everybody lies, no exceptions. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close <laughs> the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Okay then. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Um. Okay, let's see. 
Music, music, music. I want to do what she says before I start snooping. Is this a desk or a storage space? Oh, there it is. It won't play without any power. Okay, so what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> What's this? Oregon? This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Well, I wonder if they were close. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. She still has them. Bag. And this looks like a laundry bag. Old cardboard boxes. Box. Search it. She's gonna be like, "What are you doing?" Ah! Oh <gasps> no! Snowdo. Thanks. Oh no. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student when she cared. Can I rewind before I broke it? Okay. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Mm -hmm. I just, I just need. <laughs> Chloe was always. I don't. I need to find out how to find power. He made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Mm -hmm. So tell me. What does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up. I don't feel grown-up. I'm just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About <laughs> me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. Oh, what does that mean? I forget what that means. It means I have another option, doesn't it? So tell me, what does Max come? Um, I take photos. I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. A disc? Okay. I have to put a disc in. Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. Ha ha! A disc! <gasps> Stuff of amber. Ooh! Hey, give me that! Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Ooh, are they girlfriends? Who is she? So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. I, I never don't want to try and be better. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Did she leave, though? Without me. What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. 
Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you Ooh, haven't. And that could hurt if they were that close. Sense? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. <coughs> Can you put on some music now? This disc was in that box. So I get the feeling she's not gonna be happy with the it music. Won't play without any power. Ah! Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Power strip. There's the power strip. Lights. I actually used to have something like a setup, um, a stereo thing that looked just like this. That uh, had been like my dad's, and then it like my mom used it for a while, and then they were like, "Here, you can have it." Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I really don't want to leave her. I feel like that's a bad idea. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We're having a fan right there. I'm surprised everything is been blowing around. Is this a desk or a storage I already know space? That. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Okay, well I guess I'll leave. Anything around? Whoa dark. I cannot see anything. There we go. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Uh. I can see that. I can see. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I wonder. I don't know what fluoxetine is for. Not super educated on medication. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. This looks like the stuff I tried to use on my hair for Harley Quinn like a couple years ago, and it was junk. <laughs> it was in this little squeeze tube like that. I didn't trust it. It came out of my hair so fast, it was. then left it feeling just gross. Right here, let's switch off the light. This camera's so funky how it like moves above her and like zooms in on her. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. What are you doing in here? This oh. must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy. What about today. the bird? The bird. Max, the bird. Oh shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Ooh, I don't want to let it in though. The birds, yeah, the bird just flew into the house. Where is it? Bird. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. I was just gonna sit there. I hope I don't get Chloe in trouble for opening that window. Oh, no, no, there's just a bird in their room. Actually, I kind of want to look around in their room a little more. I, the uh, like dad, the stepdad gives me bad vibes. Ah, bad vibes. Oh, 
Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. He looks kind of like Juliet. The mom does, with, at least with how her hair is. Come on. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Wait. Wait. Isn't David Matson the, um, this guy? <laughs> Isn't this the it doesn't say his full name. I don't think it does. I just totally scanned through it, but is that the stepdad? Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. It seems like Chloe's mom still like really loves her. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, her dad is the security guard. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. I mean that's not really any of our business, but <laughs> okay. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Hmm. We'll see. The music switched off. I hate how she opens that door. I keep expecting somebody to be on the other side. Okay, let's go downstairs. We need in the garage. But then I... How much you want to bet the stepdad comes home? He's like, what are you doing in my house, Max Caulfield? Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Hmm. Okay, so we had a text message. Um, thanks again for helping me. No problem, that guy's an asshole. We still have to call our mom. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I don't know what the point was for turning on the TV. <sighs> Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get <laughs> one soon. That sounds good. I think I'm just doing leftovers for supper. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Okay. That's the garage. There's a stain. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. <laughs> Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Hmm. Looks like a ship wreck now. It's outside. Oh, the backyard not looking Brr. too hot. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. Looks like it caught fire or something. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Oh, nope. Keep pressing the wrong button. What is this? And it breaks. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. <laughs> I'm already grown. Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventure. <laughs> I would be like Lara Croft. <gasps> Lara Croft. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. Are those butterflies? As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. Those look like a swarm of butterflies. 
Do you see that in the corner? Something's going on here. Okay. Reminiscing. Okay, can I get up? <laughs> okay. Are those just birds? Really weird how they're just kind of like swarming around. Okay, let's go back in to the house so we can get to the garage. Fix our camera. Oh, my computer is prepared to take off. Here. Oh no. Oh no. I wonder what's in those files up there. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. A TV! This action will have consequences. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. I don't trust this guy. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Turn it off. Close the door. <laughs> Close it. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Okay. You know, I kind of want to just throw caution to the wind and be like, screw it. Let's get in trouble. <laughs> that is not how I've been playing. I've been playing very safe. Uh, yeah, let's search. <laughs> no! Okay, we're gonna look at it and then we're gonna rewind. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. He's been taking pictures of her. Trophy. Poor little Doesn't it dear. say trophy? It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. I'm not for hunting or taxidermy. I mean, like, you do you. I'm not going to tell you not to do it, but I don't... Tr no, I'm not into it. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Is she not piecing together that the stepdad is the security Look guard? Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Spam? Gross? Nothing. This is so lame. It's so lame. She's sounding... She's getting a little annoying. She's getting very whiny. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Now you... He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I literally just want tools. <laughs> Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? How did she not get this me. earlier? Did she not see the family picture of him with every- Oh, there was more. Hold on. Open that back. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? Okay. Switch on. Guns. Hmm. The gun is missing. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes. He knows his way around School. a gun. I just need some tools. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Let's shake them down. There we go. Um, they fell under. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. At all? Man, I should have done that before they fell. Okay, then we will do that from before they fell. Man, I should have done oh, that. They still before haven't they fallen. Fell. Okay. Push. 
for the most part, like, the little puzzles like that are very straightforward. Like, if you don't get it, she's like, oh, you should have done this. And then you go back and you do it and all done. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Okay, so how do I look work on my I've got the tools. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Do I go back up to Chloe's room? You think? I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. The Chloe, if you're listening, he was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered told you. Oh. Stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. Is that David? He sounds like he's trying to be concerned like a good dad, but then at the same time he's also like, I ordered asked. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Can I go upstairs now? Well, is it wanting me to fix it in Chloe's room? I turned off this light. Why is it on? Are you still smoking? Where's my camera? What am I doing? Can I use your desk? Ah. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. How did she see the, the butterfly on the... How did she see the butterfly though? If it was around the corner, I was there, hiding in the corner. Don't make Damn. this bite you me in the butt. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. I love oh, her yeah. tattoo. I Very pretty. Wet myself when I saw the gun. <laughs> so, did you recognize me? No, I didn't. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been. I'm actually kind of surprised she doesn't have like nose piercings so or like snake bites or like the eyebrow piercings or something. Just a bit, but I don't Just know what it's bit. about. There's no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question: Did you tell anybody? <laughs> like who? Like who? Like anybody? Stop stalling, sister. I told the principal. the principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell with Okay, so he is Don't an alcoholic. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I like Chloe's style, but I can never pull it off. <laughs> Ever. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. Did she get us a camera? This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yeah, yes, I'm gonna of course tuck it in cool. the back of my pants. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. What? Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, she's smoking again. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. What yes, are we doing? Break it down, Max. Oh my god, what is she doing? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, In the closet. To hide the now. closet. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Damn it. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. This is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. I'm coming. Okay, what? I'm changing. Give me a minute. Move it. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. Okay. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, soldier. Open his door. Well, he's confusing What's going home on in life. Here? Jesus, I'm just That's trying on the clothes. Army. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to me. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control. Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Ooh. Whose is it? Stay hidden. Stop this guy already doesn't me like me. Like we How does he platoon? not see her hey, in, leave Joyce out in of this. the closet? I wish you'd leave Joyce. Like now. Huh? <gasps> Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you care about just your mother pushing but me. I don't care about you cuz you're not my kid touch me again asshole that's the last time or I'll bring the cops in here so fast you're not that dumb I'd be smart to have you busted Chloe someday you'll grow up is she gonna be like I'm gonna get out of the closet and she'll be like thanks for sticking up for me like Kate did or thanks for not sticking up for me hey you okay Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's kind of what I think. It's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. I'm sorry, but I'm not stepping what in. I, I feel bad that she help. got hit, but I think it'd just make everything worse. Damn, what are you waiting for? Open the window. Okay, fine. I feel like this is a bad idea. We're we just leaving our old camera here. Okay. I think we're gonna be done. Like, we're getting close. like how we started the game so it was like this a chat like the beginning and end of every chapter this part I haven't been here in forever so why do I feel like I was just here Whoa. this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today was this where did Chloe bring us here I feel like I'm in my nightmare again Your white knight worn here. I know you're worried about me. I owe you things for today. I'll call you back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. 
I don't know what K-E-K -E means. <laughs> Earth is so lucky, they can always escape. What is this? Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <gasps> Sigh. Campfire? A graffiti? Trust no one. How long has that been here? Graffiti? Clearly. The Bigfoots are everywhere. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm really I'm sorry, sorry she got to experience hit, it firsthand. But I have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Again, he's so paranoid Ever since of my me. desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Um, I should have taken this photo. I, I don't think she knows who Kate is. I'm not sure. Out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Rambo. Did you take a peek? Rambo. Files? Uh, files? I know that look. You peeked. <laughs> so, dish the dirt. Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? There I are. I didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Yeah. What's Nathan's secret? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Mm. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Tell me. Idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Uh, how much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. <laughs> and before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that curb was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Tell Nathan me he blurred. didn't. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Okay. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I was gonna say, please tell me. Chloe, <laughs> that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You mean you save me, Max? You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. Oh, now we're in a cutscene. Okay. Don't touch me. <laughs> that was the vibe I just got. Don't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> if this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. I get the feeling they were more than friends. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
Oh no. <gasps> oh no! What Why is this going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is it the same oh, vision over and over again? <gasps> that deer is not real. Is this happening now? Like every time she messes with, like she rewinds things, it, things get out of hand. Are we still up there? I have to find out. Ah! I just died. Shit. I need to rewind and do something fast. Like every time she rewinds, it seriously messes with like the way of things. I feel like that's it. It's like one of those, like, you can only mess with, like, this space time continuum so much. Okay, get over here, out of the way. That, yeah, it's huge tornadoes back. I don't know why I'm calling this deer. The tornado is back! No! Oh. I can't rewind like that. Okay. I didn't realize it was blowing over. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Like this is coming? Is she seeing the future? Straight for the town. No, Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. What? Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore parkour! Talk to me, Max. <laughs> I had the same vision earlier in class. Hardcore parkour. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. What? Like I said, not crazy. But hi... Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, what? I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. <laughs> People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I, I do. have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. No. It's snowing. What the hell is this? Snowflake? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Hmm. I think that's chapter one. I think. And he's setting up more cameras. Ooh! Looking rough there, Warren. Oh no. I really hope we find out what happened with Kate. I don't know who that guy is. I think Victoria knows something. I remember seeing a flyer in her room, but I didn't, again, I wasn't wanting to start. There's the principal drinking again. Hmm. 
Mr. Jefferson. Who's that? Nathan? What? That was a lot of names right there. Okay, so that was the ending of episode one. Um, I really like this game. I don't intend to go quiet like I have been, and I don't want to talk too long because I know this video is already super long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my Sims channel linked down in the description below. We play a bunch of fun stuff over there on that channel. Um, I do speed builds. Uh, we have a Sims 3 Disney Legacy Challenge. Like, every generation is a different Disney movie. It's a whole bunch of fun. So go check it out. I would totally appreciate it. And, yeah. I will be back on Thursday with uh, episode 2. And we will carry on. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, actually, really quick. I'm adding this just at the, at the very end. Um, so... If you guys remember when we played Batman Telltale, uh, we got to see at the end like what we chose compared to everybody else, and it seems like for the most part I was with the majority. So I reported Nathan, I comforted Victoria, I intervened to help Kate, to help out Kate. Um, but more people came out of hiding. Oh I, no, wait, that says thirty six. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, I chose the majority for everything, and it seems to be a very general consensus. Um, so, I just wanted to show you that, and now I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys!